Alrighty and welcome back guys and girls. So today I'm wanting to open up some discussion. Please, please, please drop a comment, tell your friends, share the video, anyone who plays DVD because it's a genuine attempt to understand the mind of some of the entitled players we come across. So stay tuned and let me see what you think. The other day I decided to load up and grind some points. I had to kick eight gens with pop and also had a freddy daily ritual to complete so decided to go freddy and then along came the hate now i don't mind the hate because i legitimately feel that the build on freddy is strong but let's look at some of the issues that might have caused this player to be annoyed and some of the issues we face on dbd every day i am sure i will have people who relate to this i'm sure some of you might be sat there thinking yeah this is me all right so Let's see what happened. So I was playing Freddy. God forgive me, I have sinned. I played a strong build. Again, Lord, please forgive me for even attempting to try to pick a build that I'm comfortable with and wanting to win a game with. In my opinion, I played this game fair, never once tunneled, I juggled really hard, never camped, the game ended in the end, and if I was any other killer barring Freddy, then I believe this team would have wiped the floor on me. Now, before you all start, trust me, I am not complaining about that at all. I enjoyed the challenge, I actually felt that this team were good, I even acknowledged that to them. I said, GG, well played, and then even after the hit I got, I still said I thought they were a strong team, I had to work hard to get it. Now, this is the problem. I believe if this guy had escaped, then I wouldn't have had any issues or comments. I believe I might have even got a GG. I'd even go further and say, do I believe this guy's toxic? Maybe not, I don't know. However, this guy has perceived this as a defeat and rather than acknowledge that on this occasion that I have beat him and his team, he has to look for reasons why I'm trash. Now, in my opinion, guys, we have to remain humble when we're playing. You know, people comment and saying, this player's better than you, this player outplayed you, or GG easy, whatever. It's enough to wear you down and all this is over a game. Now this is a video game that puts you against a number of skill range people, so you either win or you lose. I've played exceptional teams and been like, yeah, GG guys, I've glanced at the perks and yeah, sometimes I've thought, oh, they were running really, really strong perks. Have I given them shitty messages for it? No, it's none of my business. All right, sometimes I play Survivor, sometimes I've run that build. That's my choice. Ultimately, guys, I have went out and paid for this game. I have used my own money to pay for this game. I have then put over a thousand hours in to grind up the levels to get the perks that I would like and would put on a killer. Sometimes I play Survivor. I might have a shitty game and someone tunnels a life out of me, someone camps a life out of me. You know what? So what? That is that person's prerogative. Do I enjoy those games? No, of course not. However, that person has done the same as me. They've went out, they've bought the game, they've grinded packs, they might not even got that far, they might have only played this game casually, they might not understand. That is down to them how they want to play. All right. The difference is here, guys, I have not took the time out to message that killer or survivor. I haven't took the time out to be what I perceive to be really entitled over it. And that's what it is, guys. It's a big case of entitlement to tell another player how they should play and what build they should use. I'm going to put the full game on at the end. Take a look at yourself and let me know. Be honest with me, guys. If you are regular to this channel, I have had shitty messages, shitty comments. And you know what? I don't engage. I'm just like, okay, whatever. I'll, I even give them a love heart, you know, whatever. Yeah, so I don't mind that aspect of it, guys. If you want to come in and tell me, you know what, you played trash and that guy was right, I will acknowledge that. All right. In this guy's defense, he might have had a shitty morning. He might have had a load of horrible games. He might be going through shit in life. That doesn't excuse him projecting that onto other people. The, I mean, even the word that he says, you know... I, it's just awful. It's just like, why would you even do that? Yeah, and before anybody messages guys and goes, oh, Jay, I hope you're okay. Guys, honestly, it doesn't bother me. However, what is starting to bother me is the sense of entitlement. I am not gonna be hurt by 
comment of somebody who I've never met before in my life, never going to meet ever in my life. So it doesn't make any difference. It's just a guy over the internet. All right. But take a look and see what you think. And let me know if you agree, guys. If you agree, then drop a comment. Let me know if you disagree. Drop a comment. Have you give shit to other players? Drop a comment. Let me know. Let's open up a discussion and let's see if we can get the root causes problem, which, like I said, is entitled players. But guys, honestly, you know, please stop. Please, please, please. If you are watching this and you're thinking, right, okay, yeah, I'll just give that killer load of shit. And I see this not just in comments. What's made me do this video is not the comment. It's the fact that I'm in different forums. I'm in different Facebook community groups, said by Dela, and it's getting a bit tiresome. You know, I've just been called a white knight because some person put on, imagine being pig and playing Ruin and Undying. And I was like, well, imagine you, you caring about someone else's, you know, perks. To concentrate on your own game, what's it to do with you? And I got told that I was being a white knight. And I was like, I'm not being a white knight. Well, in fact, I am being a white knight. Not for a bad killer, as you say, but I'm being a white knight for somebody who's went out, done the same as you, bought the game, Grinded the perks, grinded the blood points, decides to put whatever build they want on a killer and plays the game. Why would you question that? Why do you feel that you should, as a complete stranger, be telling someone else how to play the game? At the end of the day, guys, ultimately, like I said, it's a video game. Chill. There's a lot going on in the world and you really getting wound up at the fact that the killer had ruin and undying. You really get wound up that the killer's got no head. This is, I'm showing you a clip now. This killer had no head. He got me with it. I died. No, so what? You know what my response was to the guy? GG. Yeah, good game. It was a good game. And the killer had acknowledged that they'd been struggling with the spirit. They're trying to learn the spirit. They're struggling with them and they've put no head on. They might not even have perks, but they might have got that build out of a handful of perks that they could choose. No head comes up pretty much straight away, so it's pretty much telling you if you're not grinding, then there's no head to use that. So it happens, guys, but seriously, please stop the entitlement. All right, now, as I said, I'm going to play the game. I'm not even going to put any commentary on, I'm just going to let the game run. I have blanked out the names, so and I've put a little snippet of the end game chat on there for you without giving too much away, but see what you think, guys. And, Genuinely, genuinely, please drop a comment. Let me know what you think. All right. There's no commentary on for the fact that I don't want to skewer any opinions. You're just going to watch raw footage, see what you think. Let me know. All right. Hope you enjoyed the video, guys. If you did, before you watch a game, please consider pressing that subscribe button, click the notification bell, and share this video. Share it. If you know, if you play with people who are entitled, like share this to them. Ask the question. Just say, why do you feel you have to be so entitled that you have to tell players what build they use, how they should play the game? Share it, guys. But anyway, that's enough waffle from me. So hope you enjoy the rest of the video. Please watch a gameplay and please let me know what you think. All right. Thanks, guys.